Outlander Series 4 Episode 11, If Not For Hope, left us hanging on so many levels, with unexpected proposals and shock beatings coming in the closing minutes of the episode. As if one major cliffhanger a fortnight wasn't enough for us to cope with. The episode, which saw Brianna resort to blackmail, Claire, Jamie and Ian making a gruesome discovery and Roger's we trip back in time taking another turn for the worse, left us with more questions than answers and we really need to get them off our chest. Will Roger survive his ordeal with the Mohawk? Poor old Roger Mack. First he messed things up with the woman he loves by failing to tell her he knows a terrible secret about her parents' future, then he ended up being mistaken for a rapist by his father-in-law and now he's at the mercy of a band of Mohawk warriors. His captors cut him free of his bonds when they arrived at their village but then immediately threw him into the middle of a gruesome gauntlet. When last we saw him he'd just taken a massive whack to the face, so we're guessing he's going to have a pretty hard time ahead. Will he survive? Can Jamie and Claire get to him in time? With only two episodes left in the series we're surely soon find out? Will Brianna marry Lord John Gray? We know that Brianna and Roger are handfast but unless Claire and Jamie can save him and bring him back to River Run, that's really not much use to Brianna now is it? Enter Lord John Gray, the soldier with a crush on the man who he could now call his father-in-law, that won't be awkward at Christmas now will it? If he and Bree do have to go through with their plans for a wedding. We thought it was awfully good of Lord John to offer to save Brianna from a marriage to the freakishly forward Forbes, but surely they both just wanted to buy some precious time and neither of them have any intention of ever saying I do, right? Have we seen the last of Mr. Forbes? Speaking of proposals, Mr. Forbes didn't seem to take Brianna's convenient circumvention of his too well. There was a rather visible scowl on his face as he bid Joe cast a farewell and he paused only to cast a rather disparaging look in Brianna's direction. Joe Casta had confessed that a marriage between Brianna and Gerald would be beneficial for both families. Could her rejection of him have consequences for them too? What does Jamie's letter to Brianna say? Lord John Hand delivered a letter from Jamie to Brianna but she spent so much of the episode agonizing about whether to read it or not that we never actually found out what it said. We're guessing it must feature an apology for his tactless behavior in the aftermath of her sexual assault, and possibly a plea for forgiveness. It's not every day you beat up your son-in-law and have him sold as a slave because you mistake him for your daughter's attacker. What will happen to Myrtle? Myrtle was dead by this point in Diana Gabaldon's original Outlander novels so it's really anyone's guess what might happen to him next on our TV screens. We know his scheming with the regulators has put him in the militia's bad books so we're guessing he's in a fair bit of trouble now he's been captured by the militia. Will Myrtle return to prison? Or does a far worse fate await him now? And why couldn't the militia have waited until he dealt with Stephen Bonnet before locking him up? Will Lord John take care of Stephen Bonnet? It was painful to see Myrtle arrested just as he was about to deal with the evil pirate, particularly because Bonnet has been totally unrepentant about everything he's done to the Frasers. They've had no luck bringing the evil cad to justice, but could Lord John Gray be the answer to their prayers? Fans had noted that Brianna gave Bonnet's name when discussing her ordeal with her new husband-to-be. Read more metro.co.uk web link twitter twitter.com web link facebook www.facebook.com web link read more metro.co.uk web link twitter twitter.com web link facebook www.facebook.com web link